In this video, I'll be explaining about uh, the differences between T run job versus a job latent talent. We will see when to use a uh, run job versus when to use a joblet. Right? We'll also do a small hands-on on how to create um, and execute a sub job using a T run job, and also we will uh, work on some of the reusability concept of joblet as well. So let's get started. So here are some of the differences between a uh, run job and a joblet. Uh, as you all know, uh, T run job and joblet is one of the reusability feature in talent, right? So they they are used for reusing the existing code, uh, which uh, will actually save the time and also it's one of the best practice, right? Let's see uh, the differences between these two are um, T run job execute a sub job right uh, whereas joblet instantiates a child job because uh, this child job is actually treated as a part of the main job only so that's why uh, joblet is uh, used and uh, moving on a tyrant job um, uh, when when you use a tyrant job and call multiple sub jobs uh, each of sub job will be um, separate java class file right whereas in in terms of job, joblet it is just one it's just one uh, java class file because it's a part of the main job right which we have seen in the first uh, difference right whereas a t run job uses more resources since it's a different class file uh, even jvm uh, everything will be um, consumed uh, in order to execute a sub, a sub job using a run job right so that's why uh, t run job uses more resources whereas joblet uses fewer resources because it's a part of the main job, right? So that is the significance. And moving on, uh, a sub job cannot access the context variables, right? Let's say you have a master main job uh, that is calling multiple uh, sub jobs. Uh, so each of those sub jobs cannot directly access context variable from the main job, right? Unless we uh, specify and then push all the uh, uh, you know context variables to a sub job uh, it will not be able to access it whereas um, context on the main job will be accessible for the joblet so the we don't have to uh, call particular uh, task you know each and every time when you invoke um, a reusable uh, you know part of the code right so that's how um, you know it makes it more efficient when compared to run job Right, and uh, the major differ difference is uh, Tiran job is available only in the Open Studio, which is a community edition and free to use, whereas Joblet is a subscription based um, you know, component. And here is a snapshot of uh, Tiran job, and here is the Joblet. All right, so moving on. So, when do we use uh, Run job versus Joblet? Right, this is very confusing, and this is one of the uh, best practice and interview questions, and uh, you know it's uh, good to know uh, features. So uh, the bottom line is both are reusable, but how do we uh, the situation where we use is what uh, makes it you know the best. So the joblet is preferred uh, only when you have multiple sub jobs. You know, let's say for example, you know you are reading the context table from a file or database right or you are doing some logging activities or you know you are doing some audit capture activities so those cases uh, joblet is you know more preferred because these connection context can be uh, easily accessed uh, and um, you know you can perform the same operation without even um, you know doing the same task you know, multiple times right so that is one of the thing and you can um, when you want to send out any uh, email alerts or any notification you can um, you know joblet is more preferred uh, in those scenarios and also when you have like a simple transmissions or let's say you, you are doing some part of the code you know um, you know multiple times um, so then it makes sense to use a joblet for example let's say if you are uh, doing a data masking Right, you you want to mask uh, the email addresses from customer file, and uh, mask the actual email address and load it to the target. So in those cases, in the simple and uh, frequent transmission can be uh, done via joblet. So joblet is preferred in these scenarios. Whereas uh, Tiran job, uh, 
um, is preferred only when you have a like, complex transformation logic you know it is always better to separate so that um, you know you don't uh, make your main class uh, main job you know bulky right so more complex transformation goes in t run job right for example you may have dimension loads and fact table loads the transformation within uh, those table loads cannot be um, you know may not be the same so in those cases uh, those type of data load uh, can be done via the TRN job right and uh, also uh, if you want to process anything independently let's say some uh, let's say out of 100 uh, table loads you have 100 jobs and only five tables are you know really huge and you need more memory for those but for uh, other jobs you, you don't want to spend a lot of memory so in those cases you can make use of tran job right you can allocate more memory uh, to the sub jobs you need more memory and rest of them you can just leave it as is right and um, you know execute uh, your master job right so these are um, some of the major uh, differences and when when a joblet is preferred and when uh, you know run job is preferred i hope this is clear let's do a hands on now i have a simple job here uh, that reads a customer file from uh, you know input location and it just prints it on um, you know the console uh, that's all this particular job does uh, i'm going to add some features and then we will uh, see how it works right so let me go ahead and quickly uh, test this job as you can see um, this is actually printing the user id and uh, names and then the email part so if you look at the name email part uh, it is you know fully qualified let's say you don't want to you know provide um, you know the actual email address so in those cases um, this data masking can be one of the um, you know transformation reusable transformation code so let's uh, go ahead and implement that so here is uh, the one of the data masking and please note uh, this joblet and also this data masking is available only in uh, the paid version uh, which is the enterprise version um, but I'm going to show this now so that it's interesting okay so all I'm doing is from this source um, I'm connecting to uh, data masking okay and from the data masking we'll connect it to Tlogro and inside this data masking so there are several uh, features let me sync the uh, sync all the columns first so if you see uh, i have got um, the user first name last name email address and gender and uh, the output of uh, this will always have the same set of fields as is plus the original mark right so that's the indicator uh, that is used by uh, the data masking component so what i'm going to do uh, in order to um, mask this email address i'm going to choose the email address as my input column and then we will choose some um, uh, let's say we will just do a domain characters so it's going to mask uh, the domain characters now right and let's see what it does okay so now if you see the domain part and the domain part is now masked right this is not a real email address anymore so this is most preferred uh, way of you know data masking uh, used in real-time projects they don't give um, the real production email address to all the developers so this could be one of the you know best use case so what i'm going to do this is i want to put this data masking um, into a separate uh, joblet so let's say even before that if you want to do something um you know any data shuffling or any other t map you can actually club all those uh, part of the sub job and uh, you, you can refactor it to a joblet so what will happen when you right click uh, on on any it can be one single component or it can be you now multiple uh, component so let me choose two so that it's uh, clear to you right you can just click on refactor to joblet and you will have to just uh, you know, give the joblet name here right 
I will say just mask email right so now uh, this particular part like where I had uh, the data masking component and also the tlog row is now turned into a joblet and when you go to this particular joblet it will have an input right so because we connected um, I mean we refractored from a data masking component and then the tlog row right so the, for that reason uh, you got an input and a data masking and then the tlog row right it's going to be um, a reusable part of the code which will be stored in joblet and you can use the joblet any number of times uh, throughout your jobs wherever you have your customer file and you want to mask your email address you can certainly use it and uh, mask your data right let me go ahead and run it now right so now uh, all those thousand records are read uh, the data is masked and then printed on it right so this is how uh, you can um, you know make use of joblets and uh, let's say some logic changes tomorrow let's say this joblet is used at uh, 10 different jobs and let's say 10 uh, if you want to change the strategy for the data masking uh, you just do it once and all those jobs will be reflected with uh, the new changes right so that's the advantage of reusability in talent okay so now let's go ahead and uh, you know uh, try out the run job so let's say i have a blank uh, master job here and you have got uh, multiple uh, dimension table loads and effect table loads what you can probably do is you can uh, there are two ways uh, you can actually bring uh, the t run job components uh, from the palette or you can just uh, drag and drop um, you know the jobs so once you drag and drop uh, it will automatically create a t run job component along with the name of the job right this sounds more uh, you know uh, familiar so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna just delete that so let's say you have got a couple of dimensions here uh, customer and a product right and uh, after that you have a fact orders right so this is how you will create your tier and job by default um, whatever you see in the green background will be automatically executed when you uh, start the job so in order to uh, execute right uh, only the dimension first and then the fact so what you could do is probably um, you can you can use t parallelize right this is one of the enterprise edition um, you know feature you can actually parallelize the dimensions load right this is how you can select and uh, make it, all the dimensions to run uh, in parallel and only after the these two dimensions are done you can uh, connect it using a synchronize and then the call fact uh, orders load right so this is how you can make use of tiran job so let's say um, you, you want to capture you know audit statistics when so when a particular sub job is failed you wanted to you know, capture um, some logging or you want to send out some email uh, you can have uh, those set of um you know part of the reusable code uh, bundled in a joblet uh, all you can do is just simply drag and drop the joblet into your code right similarly uh, let's say uh, you, you want to make sure whether my um, you know sql server or oracle database server is up and running or not if only uh, only if it is um, available uh, i want to trigger my dimension load so in that case you just do a drag and based on this uh, completion you can actually set uh, to particular uh, you know component to proceed right and joblet uh, we don't have to uh, give input and output uh, they are just the reusable code whatever reusable features you have within the joblet will be just uh, merged with a you know main class main job and uh, it will be executed right so this is how uh, you can um, you know create your tier and job and load your dimension facts and for a couple of um, you know uh, common uh, catching errors or in checking for server uh, availability or performing some uh, you know data masking so th for those reasons you can uh, make use of joblets right so i hope this is now clear uh, this is all for today's session i hope you liked it 
and happy learning thank you